Hello planner babes! My name is Rebecca and welcome to A Quiver Full of Plans. Um, in today's video I am going to share with you my 2021 planner lineup. Um, in front of you you might see three piles. Um, there's a couple that are not necessarily everyday planners um, but in total there's 12 planners on my desk right now. Um, but there's also four planners missing. So I have a total of 16 planners. I know. Maybe excessive. Um, just a little bit. But um, I promise you they all have a purpose. And I don't use them all on a regular daily basis. Um, so let's get into it. So this planner right here. I got from Amazon. It was just a very inexpensive traveler's notebook. Um, it came with a pouch and some books already in it. Um, oh, I think it's supposed to be this way. And I think it was like, I don't know, 12 or $13. Um, and then I bought some extra um, inexpensive books and some zippered pockets. And what I plan to do with this is turn it into my on the go, um, my on the go planner. Um, I tend to have, I make a lot of lists while I'm out and my family, we really want to get into the, um, Dave Ramsey method. Uh, so we need cash envelopes while we're out and that's the purpose of these. Um, they're all individual. They're meant for a ring binder, but I'm going to make it so that I can connect them together and then just add them to my traveler's notebook. So um, this is my on the go planner. Originally, I was planning on using this skinny classic um, and I already have the envelopes already in it. But in the end, it just seemed too big. I don't have um, that big of a purse. Um, and so you can kind of see the difference in it. So um, the other option I have is this traveler's notebook, which I bought, um, I want to say a year ago. Um, but it's kind of heavy. Um, and I just, I feel like it would be too bulky in my purse. And right now it is storing all of my um, stickers that I've purchased on Etsy. Uh, so right now that's my sticker storage, but, um, and that could be another video. Um, so as it stands, I'm going to kind of stick with this guy, um, for my on the go system. Next, I have my memory keeper. Um, this one, was for 2020 and I have yet to actually get a new one for 2021. Um, and I've added pictures, but I have yet to decorate it. Um, and actually I think I only have pictures until like July was the last time I put pictures in here. So I'm a little behind. <laughs> So I definitely need to catch up. Not sure if I'll catch up by the end of this year, but I do. it is something that I do want to continue into 2021. So that is my memory keeper. Okay, so then we have my home um, planner, which is this pile right here. And these will be Franken plan. It includes three planners. So I'm gonna go with the mom dashboard. Um, as my home planner um, it is the this was just released I believe for the winter um, from happy planner and I brought I wanted to use it sooner so I brought in November and redated it but so it is the um, dashboard layout now I have to be honest I have this love hate relationship with dashboard layouts I just I can't get into them I so desperately want to get into them but for some reason I just I don't know if it's maybe the way I'm decorating it but um, the layout in itself works with my brain 
Um, but it, it just must be the way I'm decorating it. So we shall see. Currently, I am using this guy, which I absolutely love. I've been using it consistently. And um, so we shall see. But this is the garden, I believe it was. Um, and it's a classic vertical. Um, I love my classic vertical, but I do want to try the dashboard. So this one is here. When in doubt, the dashboard doesn't work. <laughs> so that is going to be um, my, just my everyday home planner. Then I have my home family um, budget planner. And originally I was kind of deciding if I wanted to go with this planner, the Savvy Saver one. Um, or if I wanted to go with the undated new release, but I ended up going with this one because these discs, I don't know if you can see that, but these discs are absolutely gorgeous. The color, it's a teal. I don't think you can get these just separately. Um, so I had to get this planner just because of these discs. Um, so, and this is Franken planned with um, a combination of the happy planner and the budget mom um, so i have i already have january through march and what i did was i bought the printable version of the budget mom and um, cut it down to size so i keep the monthly from the hap from the budget planner from the happy planner um, I keep the monthly and I keep this page and this will be my monthly um, budget but then I go into the weekly pages from the budget mom and then at the back I glued or I taped the um, final page to one of the pages of the budget from the happy planner and then that way I have my notes and then I still have the dashboard or the currently page for the following month so I have the same thing done from January to March to try it out and see if it works um, if it doesn't then I'll just stick with the happy planner or switch over entirely to the budget mom but we shall see so that is my budget planner and then my daily which is this paint planner from the happy planner um, I started using this in November after I saw a video from Elena from the organized money um, she explains how she has hers broken down into categories um, at the top and then she goes into she writes out the um, intended plan in black and then she goes in with red and changes it um, for what actually occurred so this is the first week i ever tried this um, a lot of things changed <laughs> but um, i kind of really want to stick with this uh, i really need to get into like time blocking so this is going to be in my catch-all planner as well so that was my home planner now my wellness so I have four planners here and this is all going to be um, Franken planned into what I'm going to call my wellness planner and um, for everything mind body and soul so I have the Teresa Collins um, vertical very neutral um, and this is going to be my just my weekly um, my weekly spreads for wellness I like to track um, gratitude my mood and uh, vitamins so um, that's gonna be tracked in this one then I have my reading journal and I started this back in June uh, July this doesn't, even though it's dated, I usually white out the dates and I just write whenever I want to. There's not necess it's not a daily thing. Um, and these are just from books that I like to read and I want to take notes on. Um, this particular spread is from the book, um, You Are a Badass. And um, I still 
actually have yet to finish it. Um, <laughs> life happened. So, um, and then this spread, I decorated it but never wrote in it. So I really want to pick this back up again and um, start reading. Um, so this is going to go into my wellness planner. And then I have my faith planner. And this is set, it, set into two separate planners. This planner is an outdated planner from 2019-2020. Um, and I use this for my daily verses. And I changed around the order um, of all the pages because I didn't start using it until July. Um, so this is July, and I use this for my daily verse. I'm not sure if I just said that. And I usually write out the daily verse, and I decorate it. And this has been going really strong um, since July, all the way up to the current month, which is December. So I'm gonna keep this. Um, I just switched out the dividers, so all the dividers back here are actually 2019, I believe. Yeah, 2019. Um, I'm just going to redate it and keep going. Uh, I like it. I like the colors in it. So that's going to be my daily verse planner. And then I have my um, devotion book study um, planner. And this I also bought, I believe, in July. And I started it, and what I do is I take notes on a devotion that I'm reading, on a daily devotion, or on a Christian book. Um, currently, I am reading. Currently, I'm reading this book right here. Um, absolutely love it. Um, I don't do it every day. I try to do it like on a weekly basis. I think I'm on day 20 maybe um, and so I just take notes on it uh, this has been going really well um, I plan on keeping it and continue with this into the new year so I'm not going to change this one this is going to be a keeper so and uh, so that this pile right here was my wellness planner and then my last planning pile is my business. Um, so for those of you who don't know, I have an Etsy shop. I make wreaths um, and sell them on Etsy. So I have three planners here and um, I think I'm missing two for this stack. Um, they're on their way from the Happy Planner. So this planner right here is the dark florals i absolutely love this planner but it, it is a monthly layout so let me just show you let's go to okay so this is what it looks like and this is how i plan to use it um i'm gonna break my i plan quarterly uh in my in my business planner so i'm gonna put my goals up here um, anything that I have to buy for the month is going to go down here. Um, any, oh, apparently one of my kids decided to doodle in this planner when I wasn't looking. Um, so in this section, I'm going to put what's happening this month. Um, any kind of special holidays that I'm making wreaths for. Over here, I am putting my top priorities. Um, my new listings uh, will go in this box and then anything that's coming up uh, things that I need to prepare for is in this box I'm not sure um, it says to do's here but I'm not sure if I'll actually use these pages because um, I plan on Franken planning it with the undated bizbane planner which is the dashboard layout uh, coming so I plan to Franken plan it and I think I'm gonna keep this planner for a monthly overview and then use the undated biz planner for more of my weekly um, tasks and break it down that way. And then I have my plum paper planner, which is my business financials. But this is what, this is my plan. Um, you have the dashboard, you have a notes page, which I'm gonna put like my monthly summary for my business financials. 
Then you have the calendar view, and I'm going to put any kind of uh, bills uh, and when I get paid from Etsy. And then you have just a bunch of notes pages. So I plan to use these as like an expense log, transaction log. Um, I'm going to track my shipping because right now I include shipping in all the prices of my wreaths. Um, so, and I just started, so I need to kind of keep track of that and make sure I'm charging an appropriate price. Um, and then my Etsy fees and then my P&L statement is going to go here. And I think I had other ideas for these pages, but I don't have a sticky note to tell me what they were. <laughs> so that is going to be my business financials planner. And then this is my planning social media. My um, social media planner for my wreath shop is on its way. And for that one, I chose one of the Disney princesses just to make it fun a little bit, switch it up. Um, this soft geode monthly planner is for my planning. So for planning, I have my YouTube channel and my Instagram. And so for this one, I plan to, let's see. So for this one, I plan to have my goals for my planning channel up here, uh, photos that I need to take. I'm going to track my stats, my analytics, and then um, what I'm going to post for Insta stories, hashtags I'm going to use, and then just a video checklist to make sure I have everything that I need for the videos that I post. Um, in the calendar section, you can kind of see I was always, I was already trying to play around with the schedule, um, is my YouTube schedule. And then over here in the daily to do's is my Insta posts. Um, and I'm going to have some inserts and stuff like that too, just to kind of help me uh, plan out my Insta posts. But that's pretty much it for this planner. Um, and then I have my Disney one coming for my business. And that one is a color block. I was originally going to use a teacher layout, um, but then I saw the Disney. I'm not really into Disney, but um, I decided to just try it out. And uh, I got the cover. I'll try and link it. Is the um, the color block planner that has Pocahontas. Merida and Rapunzel and Merida is my favorite Disney princess so I had to get that one and um, yeah so this is my complete planner lineup and uh, I plan to have some setups uh, once everything comes in uh, maybe I'll do an unboxing and um, yeah so if you have any questions uh, just comment below and I'll see you in another video bye